Okay, we're moving on now to Mickey Philippi. Mickey is uh, the number one ranked wrestler in the nation. Um, and I just mentioned Jack and Louis Hayes. They're both either number one or number two, depending on the rankings. They're, they're, they're in the top three in every national ranking, every publication. So they're amongst the best, or if not the best, in the country in terms of what people think of them. Mickey is in the same boat. He is one of the best wrestlers in the nation at any weight class, and I think any pundit, any uh, wrestling enthusiast would tell you that. He's got, he, and the reason why is because he's, his mentality is insane. He really thinks he can beat anybody on any given night when he steps on the mat. People say those things, but Mickey actually believes it and lives it out. He trains accordingly. He's obsessed with training. He's totally, I mentioned the fearless piece. He's not afraid of anybody. And he loves, 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 loves wrestling. I get text messages from him all the time. I mean, he, he, uh, he came down this past weekend just to watch our team wrestle. Drove all the way from Pittsburgh just to watch us wrestle a Sunday dual meet. He got back, had dinner with his family, and drove back home. That's how, that's how into it he is. And so it's just so exciting to, to have that because we feel like culture is a word I've been throwing out a lot. And that's for the future when we're looking at building this thing um, from a macro level, looking at the, the program as a whole moving forward, that we want to have these pieces in place uh, uh, culture-wise. Guys who <clears throat> really want to do something that's never been done. Guys that want to be a part of something special. Guys that want to push themselves past points that they've never been in their lives, and that's Mickey. Mickey um, is as blue-collar as they get. When you watch him compete, he's, the thing he's known for is he's stingy. It's almost impossible to score on him. He's great on top. I think next level great on top. You know, I hear him pitching. They, when they evaluate prospects, they say plus stuff. He's got plus stuff defensively, plus stuff on top. And what he's now building onto his game, which I think is incredible, is he's now being offensive-minded where he's just looking for points, looking for points, looking for points. He wrestled at this uh, uh, conflict at Carver thing in Iowa in, in Carver Hawkeye Arena, one of the most storied arenas in our sport. And he went out there and just went crazy on a total stud who's, who I believe is committed to Iowa and went out and, and put up 12 points or 13 points on the guy. So that's the type of wrestler he is. We think he's a program changer, just like Jack and Louie. We feel like he's going to be a guy that uh, a lot of people are going to be talking about for years to come.